Let's come to our mats in a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our hands to heart center in the Anjali Mudra, Namaste. Just close the eyes for a moment. Starting to center in on your body and your practice. Bringing your focus to your breath, the movement of your breath. Every time you take a deeper breath, you oxygenate your body and your cells. Slowly bring your hands behind and lean against them to open the heart forward, adding this open heart, open chest variation to our seated meditation. Close the eyes again. Just take a couple deep breaths here. Doing a breathing exercise here with the most capacity for deep breaths, really making this big lung space. with new air, with new life, prana, the vital life force energy. Remove your right hand while still maintaining this open chest and just tap on the middle of your chest on your sternum. It should feel like you're hitting a flat bone. By tapping on the sternum, we activate the thymus gland, creating more T-cells. And our T-cells help fight off infections and inflammation, helping to heal the body. So we really want to activate those T-cells and create more of them. And bring the hand back down towards the ground, taking a couple more deep breaths with this open heart, open chest variation. Besides practicing yoga to increase the immune system and activate it, you also want to make sure you're sleeping well, drinking lots of water, and eating a healthy diet. So don't just rely on the practice, but also change anything you can in your life to feel healthier, to take care of your body, and the immune system will be more activated and more energized as well. Inhale, the hands come up. Long spine, space between every vertebrae. Exhale, turn towards the right, left hand to your right knee, entering a seated twist. Your right hand can come behind your back and grab the left inner thigh if possible, or stay behind the back. Taking a couple deep breaths here. Make sure your spine is still long, your heart is still open and radiating forward, and you're not just collapsing into the posture. Inhale back to center. Exhale, change sides. Right hand to left knee. Left hand comes behind the back, grabbing the inner thigh. Or staying behind the back, wrapping around the belly. Inhale back to center, long spine. Exhale, let's turn towards the right completely, coming into this folded seated twist. We're going to do a lot of twist postures today. So prepare for that. Improper digestion can result in a lot of buildup of toxins and bacteria, infections and inflammation in the belly region. So we really want to focus on stimulating our digestion system, clearing out all those toxins and bacteria, and allowing all those organs to be stimulated. 
and working better, allowing more circulation to flow through our abdomen region and all the organs there. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side, folding toward the left, coming into a seated twist fold position. Keeping your hands where they are, let's turn our legs over and meet each other in a tabletop. Hands are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips. We're just gonna really spread out the fingers and warm up the wrist joint for a moment here, circling on the wrists. Still breathing deeply here. We really wanna warm up those wrist joints because we're gonna do a couple of sun salutations to detox the body and increase circulation throughout the whole body, allowing our cells to move more freely throughout the body. So we really want to warm up those wrist joints. Let's change sides, direction of your circle. Breathing deeply still, connecting your breath to your movements. Coming back to your tabletop, coming onto your toes, lifting the hips and walking the feet forward to a forward fold position. Let's grab opposite elbows and just dangle side to side for a moment here in this dangling forward fold version. This pose is considered an inversion, a pose where your heart is above your head. Those are also great postures for increasing circulation going in the opposite direction of the body, making you feel more calm, less stress, which can also help the body work on more important things like releasing toxins and fighting off bacteria. Just dangling a couple more times here. Inversions are also really great for increasing circulation and blood flow to the sinus region. So if you have any sinus problems, inversions would be great to practice. Just be careful if you have uh, really intense sinus problems and you're having breathing difficulties, just move at your own pace, going in and out of the inversion. You'll find amazing progress. Inhale and slowly rise up. Coming to an upward hand position, looking up towards your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Relaxing in Samastita here for a moment. Let's come to the tops of our mats. We'll do five rounds of sun salutations to build up the heat, to sweat, release toxins, and increase overall circulation throughout the whole body. So big toe to big toe. Inhale, the hands come up. Upward hand position. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, long spine. Hands come down towards the ground, hold your breath, walk back to plank. Exhale, as you lower down to chaturanga, make sure you bring the body weight forward before you bend the elbows close to the body, coming to this 90 degree angle. Inhale, to up dog. Legs are above the floor, pushing up. Exhale, downward dog. In our first really juicy downward dog of the day, maybe add some movement here, shaking out the legs, shaking out the hips. <sighs> Breathing deeply. Feeling that circulation flow to the head region. Look forward, walk big toe to big toe, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, rest. Samastiti. Let's do four more. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold the breath, drop the hands to the ground, walk back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, 
Kneel down, dog. Take one deep breath. Look forward, you can walk, step, or jump. Big toe to big toe, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up all the way. Exhale, rest. Hands to heart center. Let's do three more at our own pace and we'll meet back at the center together. Inhale, rise. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath. Walk, step, or jump. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Upward hand posture. Samastitihi rest. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale upward hand pose, exhale forward fold, inhale halfway lift, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, deep breath, look forward, walk, step or hop, inhale, exhale forward fold, Inhale, standing up all the way. Exhale, rest. Take a moment to open the hands, open the feet. Close the eyes. Feel the heat in your body. A little bit of sweat. Lots of circulation, blood flow. Moving throughout the body. Sun salutations really does an overall body stretch and activation. Let's bring the feet together. Big toe to big toe. Inhale, raise the hands up. Interlace the fingers. And release just the index pointing up towards the sky. Reaching, keep reaching up towards the sky. Keep reaching. Breathing deeply, maybe slowly moving back into a standing back bend. Look up towards your fingers. Use your breath to keep reaching up and over. And slowly rise up. Exhale, let's sit in a chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes. Long spine here, open heart forward. Hands are still intertwined together, reaching up towards the sky. Bring the hands to heart center. Let's enter a twist here, turning towards the right. Bringing the left elbow to your right knee. Coming into a seated twist chair pose. Look up towards your right elbow. Let's slowly bring the left leg back to a lunge position. Coming into a twisted side angle pose. Still looking up towards our right elbow. Drop the left hand towards the ground on the outside of your right leg. And inhale that right hand up towards the sky, deepening your twist here in this twisted side angle posture. From here, we'll slowly straighten that front leg, coming into a twisted triangle pose. Look up towards your right hand. Inhale, windmill the hands up. 
right hand to left thigh, looking over your right shoulder, coming into this twisted, yummy triangle variation. And exhale, windmill the hands down, inhale back to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, walk the feet forward slowly, exhale forward fold, inhale come all the way up, exhale hands to heart center, let's do the other side. Inhale, the hands come up, interlacing the fingers, releasing the index. Maybe switch over your hand position to what's comfortable. So if you did left thumb on front, now do right thumb on front. Fingers are pointing up towards the sky, look up towards your hands. You can stay up here in this straight body position, or use your breath to slowly coming back to a back bend, opening that heart forward, activating that thymus gland like we spoke about before. Use your breath to keep reaching up and over, not just collapsing in the lower back. Then slowly come back up, inhale. Exhale, slowly sit in your chair pose. Fingers still reaching up towards the sky. Breathe deeply. Bring the hands to heart center and let's enter our chair twist. Bringing the right elbow to your left knee now. Looking up towards your left elbow. Okay, pressing in the feet. Go a little bit down into your seat. And with control, let's bring that right leg all the way back, entering our twisted side lunge. One more deep breath here before we bring the hand down. And slowly lower the right hand up to the outside of your left foot. Inhale the left hand up towards the sky, look up towards your left hand. <sighs> If you need to bring your hand towards the inside of your foot for more balance, that's okay too. From here, we'll start to straighten that front leg coming into a twisted triangle pose. Couple deep breaths here. Inhale, windmill the hands up. Bringing that left hand to your right leg in the back and looking over your left shoulder. Windmill the hands down to the floor. Exhale. Inhale back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And let's look forward and either walk, step, or hop to a seat on your knees. From here we'll come into camel pose. So we'll come up onto the knees and you can spread the knees apart a little to feel more balanced. The feet can be together or parallel. It also doesn't matter. So what's more comfortable for you? You can also fold over the mat if you need extra cushion for the knees. Let's do half each side and then we'll do both together just to warm up our back for that juicy back bend. Inhale, both hands come up. Exhale, let's slowly bring the right hand to our right heel. Left hand stays up towards the sky, looking towards your left hand. Push your body weight towards the front body as if you had a wall to press in front of your belly. Breathe deeply, open that heart forward. If you need to, you can always stay up and work with the hand on your lower back if it's too deep for you on the heel. Inhale, come up slowly, both hands towards the sky. Exhale, change sides. Left hand to left heel, looking up towards your right hand. 
Again, opening that chest forward and up, pushing the body forward, not leaning on the heel. Couple more deep breaths. And inhale, come up. Exhale, let's go both sides now. Again, you can choose to come to do this with both hands on the lower back. Or bringing both hands to each heel. Looking up towards the sky, pushing the body forward. Couple deep breaths. Keep pushing the body forward, opening the heart, opening the shoulders, breathing deeply. And slowly come up, one hand at a time, inhale. Exhale, sit on your heels and lower the forehead down, coming into child's pose. You can do this with the hands forward or by the feet, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Just a couple more deep breaths here. Taking this moment to fully rest. Feel your body circulation rushing around. Feel how instantly relaxed you feel in this posture. That's what child's pose is for. You can always do it whenever you feel like you need that extra moment to rest. And let the body remove any extra stress. Slowly come up. And let's move on to our backs. We're going to come into bridge pose. A little inversion. So the feet should be Facing forward, knees parallel to each other, legs parallel to each other, hands by the hips. Let's inhale, push off of your feet and your hands to start lifting the hips as high as possible. If you want, you can place the hands under the lower back for extra support. Or you can keep them on the ground. Make sure the knees stay facing forward and don't open up. Keep pressing through the feet. Allowing the circulation to flow to your upper body and head. And slowly release back down towards the ground. Let's straighten out the legs. And we'll come into a recline twist. We're going to hug that left knee, uh, the right knee in the chest. Just really hug it for a moment, creating nice compression in the hip region, a little abdominal massage here on the right side. And then take the knee to your left side, coming into a reclined twist. Knee all the way towards the ground. Right arm comes out towards the side, look out towards your right hand. Nice deep twist. Releasing any strain from the back region as well as stimulating our digestion system and metabolism. Removing any buildup of toxins and bacteria from the belly. Allowing our body to work more properly and more strong. Slowly come back to center. 
Straighten that right leg and take that left knee, hugging it intensely towards the body, feeling a slight compression in the hip joint, hip crease region. And slowly bring that left knee to the right side, coming into that reclined deep twist. Knee to the ground, look towards the left side, towards your left hand that's reached out. Maintain that knee on the floor while still maintaining both shoulders on the floor to really enhance your deep twist here. And slowly come back to center. Release the legs. Let's enter our Shavasana. Legs as wide as your mat or maybe a bit wider. Hands by your hips. <sighs> Return to your breath. Just thinking about the breath, the movement of your breath, maybe the color of your breath today. Anything you want to think of, any characteristics about your breath. Letting your body melt into the ground. Entering this meditative state here, feeling completely relaxed, not using any muscles. Listening to the sounds around you. Becoming one with them, becoming one with your surroundings. Knowing that everything is connected and made of the same material. Feeling the energy all around you, through the ground, through the air, smell. Connecting to your senses. Take a couple more really full deep breaths here, filling up the whole body with new oxygen for our cells. <sighs> for our cells and ourselves. <sighs> Let's slowly, keeping the eyes closed, meet each other in a comfortable seat. <sighs> Feeling the circulation flow back down through your body. <sighs> Returning to your normal breath. <sighs> Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me this immunity boosting yoga flow. Namaste.